Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are gonna make something super, super cute tonight. I'm so excited to show this to y'all. I worked on mine the other day because it had to dry. So I'm excited to show this to you tonight. Um, there's some people hopping on. Hey friends, hey, hey, hey. Say hey once you're hopping on and if you're watching the replay, thank you for watching. We appreciate you being here. Um, I know some people can't be here live and it's okay to watch the replay. Just let me know you're here. Hey, Lenora. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Pamela. And I was going to show y'all while everybody's hopping on. This was my little, um, you know, we made the acorn, the big acorn thing the other day that's in my house. <laughs> um, hey, Ellie. Hey, Amy. This is um, the small one that I made. Um, everybody said, oh, it doesn't look like it's that small. It, it is. It's not real long. It's just got one acorn on it. But it's so cute. I think it's adorable. The little tassel. Hey, Tara. Hey, Frida. Hey, Donna. So I had to show it to y'all. I grabbed it right before I hit the button. I was like, oh, I need to show them the little one. Hey, Amy. Hey, Laurie. I hope y'all are doing good and have had a good week so far, even though it's day two and it feels like day four to me. <laughs> it feels like... It's been crazy the last couple of days. Hey, Bertha. Hey, Becky. Yes, this is going to be a good one tonight. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, like I said, I worked on the ones I got to show you a couple of days ago because they have to dry. So I have one prepared, and we're going to make one, and I have some done. So <laughs> I've got all phases. Hey, Sue. I miss somebody. So if I, did, if I missed you saying hello, hey, everybody. Um, I don't mean to. Hey, Joan and Nancy from California and Sandy. Okay, so I'm excited to show y'all what it is. Y'all know me. I get all beside myself when I want to show y'all something really cool. Hey, BJ. Hey, Brenda. Okay, so I've got a few of them to show you, but okay, so I'm just going to show them to you. Um, okay, y'all ready? <laughs> I'm like stinking excited. I can't help it. Okay. I bet y'all can't guess what this is. Let me turn the lights off because it glares on there. Um, hey, Cindy. Um, the, let me show y'all what this started out as, okay? And then I'm going to show y'all how to make them. And I got to show you the other ones I have done too because I got kind of carried away. Um, hey, Tracy, it's okay. So this started out as this. The I got these like from... Goodwill, they're salt shakers. Y'all know I do salt shakers, snowmen at Christmas. Um, hey, Gail. Hey, Pauline. Um, and this is um, this is a salt shaker. Just, you know, you can get them at Dollar Tree, too. But this is how this started out. And these are just the little battery lights you can get from... I don't want that to glare in the camera, but it is. The battery lights you can get from Dollar Tree. And I need some... Uh, <laughs> she was like a baby bottle? Mm-mm. So this is clay, our famous clay that we use on the gnomes. And I, I wanted to do something else with it because y'all know I love this clay. Look at Lori. She said salt and pepper shaker. Um, you could do a pill bottle. You could absolutely do a pill bottle. Any kind of little bottle that you have. I love bottles. I have tons of bottles. So here's this one. So I got to show y'all all the ones that I did. Okay, here's another one. This one doesn't have lights because I don't have enough lights for all of mine. Um, I need to go buy a whole bunch of lights. So look how stinking cute. This bottle is one is like this. This is what it started out, like a little spice bottle kind of thing. Just something I had in my um, stash. So I'm going to show y'all. Let me show y'all up close. That orange looks really weird, but that's it up close. So I'm going to show y'all how to make this, and it's not hard, so don't panic. Um, but that's what this started out as, okay? Um, and y'all's wheels are already turning, okay? I know. This, y'all won't guess what this is. Cracker Barrel Serp Bottles. Y'all know I collect these when we go to Cracker Barrel. I get everybody's bottles on the table, and I take them home. Um, but that's what that is, is, is the... Um, it's just a syrup bottle. See, there's the brown cap. That's what that is. <laughs> Kathy, you could probably paint it if it comes red instead of white. It, you could probably paint it. Okay, so this is the one. So I got this one. 
um, this one, this one. Okay, and then here's the one. Here's another one. This is the one I love the most. Um, it has orange lights in it from Dollar Tree, and it's just a jar that I had in my stash. Let me turn the lights off because they are like so bright. It's just a little jar. I think this jar actually came from Hobby Lobby. I think, but that's see. There's the lid. I mean, it's just. I mean, you could put candy and stuff in here. You want to put lights. My shirt, I got this shirt um, this past weekend at our little festival they had in our town. And I got it from a, from a vendor there. Isn't it cute? See the good? I love it. Um, so there he is. I, but I will tell you, and I'm going to tell you all the stuff that, that I learned while making these. Because it's just something I just kind of did. You have some, Donna's got some syrup bottles. There you go. See, Marcy, no, you're not alone. I have a whole stash of them. Everybody, when we go to Cracker Barrel, everybody knows not to throw the bottles away. I'm putting them in my purse. Because <laughs> they're going to throw them away in the back anyway. It's like, no. Hey, Cherokee. Okay, so I'm going to tell you all some tips and tricks. And I'm going to show you and walk you through the whole thing. And you're going to be like, gosh, that's all it is? Yes, that's all it is. But look how stinking cute. And I know y'all probably have bottles um, salt shakers, you can get the salt shakers from Dollar Tree, and they're, I mean, they're 50 cents a piece, so, you know, whatever you want to, um, oh, thank you, Lindy, whatever you want to do, you know, a bottle or a pill bottle, if you have a clear one, of course, if it's orange, you could put, you could put the clear lights in it, and it would look orange, um, so, <clears throat> here's the one that I have already done tonight, that I've let it dry, I haven't assembled it, I haven't painted it, so I'm going to show y'all from start to finish, like we're going to put it together and then we're, I'm going to paint this one because it's dry because the clay does take a couple of days to dry. Okay. So see, I covered the top and I put little ridges and stuff in it and there's my stem. So we're going to make one. Yes, yeah, Stacy, it's going to be so much fun and y'all are going to have a whole village of them like me because I want to make more. As a matter of fact, we had spaghetti the other night. Here is my spaghetti jar and... It's going to be a pumpkin before the week's out, probably. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so, there's my spaghetti jar. So, I'm going to make a big one, too. But I'm going to take... This jar is like a... I don't even... I think maybe this might be a little jam jar or something that I got somewhere. I don't even know. But that's the same jar that this is. Okay? So, I'm going to show you. Um, and then Hobby Lobby has their glass, like, every other week, half off. So, and I want to say that this jar, oh, it has a sticker on the bottom. I was going to say, I thought I peeled it off. This is $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. So, if it's half off or 40% off, it'd be, you know, a dollar or maybe a little more than a dollar. So, but you can go to thrift stores and get all the jars that you want. Okay. So, but this is the one I'm going to do tonight because it's the same exact jar that I'm going to show you that I'm going to paint. Okay. So, that's why I did that. No, Margaret, it's not hard. It's not hard. Like I said, you got to break it down in steps. This is probably easier than the gnome is. If y'all can do the gnome, then you can do this. Okay. Yes, Becky, use those jars after the candles burn down. Could you make snowmen for Christmas? Joan, you could. And I make, um, I make salt shaker snowmen with my salt shakers. Um, I have a video on that last... July, maybe. I think it was Christmas in July. <clears throat> okay, so this is the clay. Let me show you before I tear it all up. Y'all know I use this all the time. I've used it on my gnomes. I use it whenever I can because I love to work with this stuff. It is, um, it says on the package modeling clay, but it's, um, it air dries, okay? Um, you might can use model magic. It came from Hobby Lobby. I know Michaels has it. I know Amazon has it. Um, but I love this stuff. You do have to put it in a Ziploc bag, and I'm looking around for my bag. Um, but, you know, after you use it, because it will start to dry. There's my water. Okay. And you got to have a little water. Okay. So, if you've seen me use this, you know. <laughs> Melanie, let's go to Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel is always a good thing for me. I love pancakes any time of the day. Um, that's all I have ever get that's all i ever get there i can't get anything else pickle jar yes y'all have pickle jars you have mayonnaise jars i know y'all have all of that stuff so 
you're just gonna get a big lump of clay, okay? It's Cause you've gotta cover this jar. But if you don't get enough off to start with, it's fine. Um, hey, Lynn. Okay, you can use a rolling pin. I use a jar <laughs> as my rolling pin. It's just easy for me. So I'm gonna just smooth my clay out and get it, I want it about that thick. I don't want it too, too thick, but enough to cover it. <laughs> hey, Diana, can't wait to see this. Julian, you're gonna be so, so amazed. It's really not hard. If you can carve a pumpkin, you can do this. And most of y'all made the gnomes, so I know, hey, Corky. I know that you, um, yeah, Walmart has clay. Um, I got clay from Walmart one time and it cracked after it dried. So be careful because you'll be so mad when you come back and your clay's all cracked up. Hey, Deanna. Chicken and dumplings. Christy gets chicken and dumplings. I've never gotten anything but breakfast. That's all I've ever gotten from Cracker Barrel because I love it so much. And I, I just can't go off that. I can eat it any time of the day. So I got a pretty big chunk of clay off because I want to be sure to cover the whole jar. But if you don't, you can always, um, hey, Terry, you can always, um, you know, uh, make it come together, like mi mix it together where it'll join. Baby food jar. See, y'all are y'all on top of this. Okay, so here's my jar. I've got, I know I've got enough up and down to cover my jar. <laughs> But, um, so it's not going to fit, but I'm going to show y'all how we're going to, how we're going to meld it together. My clay is from Hobby Lobby and it's, it's over by the, the Fimo clay and all that stuff. The sculpty clay is over there. It's kind of on a shelf like down. Baby bottle. See y'all are on top of this. If you're a crafter, I know you've got some spare jars in your, uh, stash. Even those little clear jars that come from uh, Dollar Tree, the little clear plastic ones, you could use those. Okay, so now, I don't want to cover the bottom, but, so I'm just going to put this down. I know it's not going to cover the whole jar because it's only going to come so far, but we're going to fix that. And no, I didn't do anything special to make it stick to the jar. I didn't glue it. I didn't do anything. It just stays on there. Okay, so see, I've got that much. And I'm just gonna come to the bottom and I'm gonna tear off what I don't need, okay? Because I, I know it's too much. So we're gonna use that to cover up this. All right. So I'm gonna try to work with what I have. And this is where it's, I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks because obviously I did it one, two, three, four times, five times. <laughs> And so I'm gonna show you um, what I learned when I did this. Cause each one you do, you kind of learn a little bit more so y'all can learn from the mistakes that I made. The shirt, I got this from a vendor um, at the little craft thing I went to this weekend on our square. They had like a little festival and I went to that and I bought it there and I love it. Um, Linda, I did the clay gnome, I've done it twice. I did it last May. And then I did one recently, and it's a candy corn gnome. It is air dry, Barbara. It is. Oh, yogurt jars. Look at Tina. I've got some of those yogurt jars, too. Those little wee, whatever they're called, yogurt jars. All right. So I'm just covering enough of the edge, but I don't want it to make it to where my jar's wobbly on the bottom. So you got to be careful. You know, this one has, like, little feet on the bottom, like little little indention things that stick up, but you don't want it thick to where it's gonna make your jar unlevel. Okay, Joe, this is what we're making. Pumpkins with clay in a jar. <laughs> Everybody's coming on late, it's going like, what is that? What is that? That's a jar and I put clay on top of it. Okay, now, I'm not gonna, well, now I'm not gonna worry about this up here just yet. I'm gonna show y'all how to you mix this together. So I'm gonna get the excess that I have off, um, off that I tore off the bottom and I'm gonna make this piece to so we can fill in that spot where it didn't meet in the back. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this, I just rolled it out. So see, it's not very thick. It's about that thick. 
Um, I don't know if that colored clay at the Dollar Tree, I don't know if it air dries. I don't know if it does. It has to say air dry. Hey, Candace, how much did I pay for the clay? Um, well, it was back when they had a coupon, and they'll put it on sale. Um, nine, it's, this was $9.99 a pack. Okay, and then when they put it on sale, 30, 40% off, whatever they decide to do. I didn't cover the bottom, Donna, but I will say this. I, prob <coughs> I probably will paint the bottom solid color because if you'll notice, when I turn on the light, and if it was dark in here, y'all could see. See how it reflects off the bottom of my hand like it's sitting on the table? And you can... Y'all may not can see it, but I can see it around the edge. So I will probably go back and paint the bottom solid to where the light doesn't come through. Cracker barrel pork, baby carrots. Y'all gonna make me hungry again. <laughs> okay, so we've got this gap, all right? So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna lay it, kind of overlap that a little bit there. Okay, I didn't overlap the whole thing. I just did a little bit you can kind of work this stuff and make it do what you want it to do so then i'm just going to tear it because i don't want it to make the back or that side so thick that it's thicker than all the other sides so this is where your water comes in just get you a little water on your fingers and you can just sit here and smooth it keep smoothing that little edge there until it becomes one piece and so it does it like almost right before your eyes it's it's real uh, friendly and you just keep smoothing it out and then the little seams will go away. Yeah, that, I mean, this clay, I, I you know, I, this is the only clay that I do use, but like Kaylee just said, because I know it works and it doesn't crack because I have had, I made a bunch of gnomes for somebody for an order one time and came back the next day after they had been drying and they were all cracked and I was just so devastated. And I had to go buy more clay and I had to make them over again because they were for somebody else. But I just fixed the cracks, painted them and kept them for myself. So I have a whole little family of gnomes. How many jars do I get out of one package? I started with a whole pack of this clay and I did one, two, three, four, five, and this is the sixth one, and I still have, I still have this much left, like, I have that much left, so it makes a lot, I'm, you know, it makes a lot, okay, so you're just going to keep smoothing this out until you like it, and it looks, um, your seams are all gone, and see, I got a bump there. And I'm not worried about it because pumpkins are bumpy and lumpy and we're going to make some lines and stuff. Okay. So now we got to worry about this at the top. Now, <clears throat> where's my one? Okay. So let me show y'all. So you know when you put the jar on, the lid on your jar, okay, it's going to go down to this little, it ha usually has a ridge right there to where the jar, the lid goes down to. That's where I brought my clay up to. Um, so... But now you see, when I put the jar on, there's a space there. Now, you can do two things. You can either bring your clay up to that point, or you can paint up to that point to where the light doesn't show through. Because if you notice, see the light comes through the crack, and I need to paint over that where the light doesn't come through. If you're going to put lights. Oh, Shirley, you're so sweet. Thank you. Okay. So now, I use my X-Acto knife, and you can tell it's still got clay on it. <laughs> um but I had me a good time making all these the other day. So I'm just gonna take my little X-Acto knife and I'm gonna find that little lip right there where the lid comes down. And I'm gonna just run this little blade around there. And you can use a, you know, any kind of knife really. It's just, it doesn't have to cut. It's just giving me a straight edge. That's just easy. So now you have this. So see, it's not pretty, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take my, my finger in the water and I'm just gonna sit here and smooth it out 
and get it all pretty at the top. Thank you, Regina. Yeah, you could add jute around, Anna. That would be a good thing to tie like a little jute or some ribbon or burlap or something around the top. Thank you, Charlene. Um, I told y'all y'all didn't want to miss this one because I'm, I'm just excited about this craft. Um, but we're going to use all of this here in just a minute. Hey, Doreen. All right, so I'm just smoothing and smoothing and talking and smoothing. <laughs> so you're just going to smooth, smooth, smooth. And you have to just get your fingers wet every once in a while. You'll know. Like I said, this clay is very friendly and I love it. It's just something about your hands rubbing on that clay. It's just so soothing to do. Like people make that pottery and all that. I think it's just, it's so therapeutic to me actually. And then when you wind up something cute, it's like, oh my gosh. I couldn't even wait to paint them. Y'all was so dang excited. I painted them the next day, which it, they're not very, I didn't do them very thick. So it, it was pretty dry. <laughs> I, I may have rushed it a little bit. Cause the, the, the thing about this is y'all know if you've worked with this clay, it's this color to start with. And then it gets really white. If you see the difference, once it's dry, it gets really super white. So you can tell. So when it's drying, you may have to like let it dry like this for a while and then turn it over and let this dry so the air can move all around it. But you can also look inside and tell if it's totally dry or not. And I may or may not have painted these when it wasn't totally dry, but shh, we won't tell anybody because y'all couldn't wait. I was so dang excited to paint them. Yes, Wendy, it's relaxing. Love the pumpkin picture behind me. I'm actually doing a class. It starts Friday night. Um, you can go to my site and you can get in on the class and it tells you all about the Facebook, the private group to get in. And I'm going to teach y'all how to paint that. Okay. And I did do a metallic one if y'all want to look. I'll show it to y'all in a minute. But that's the metallic paints. That was a little bit tricky. Okay. So now while you're doing this clay, and if you used it, you know, you'll continue to sit here and get your fingernail marks in it. And I just kind of go back and smooth them out. But pumpkins are, are bumpy and rough and stuff. So you don't have to worry too much about it because we are going to distress it a little bit and make it look like a pumpkin. Okay. All right. So there it is. I mean, it's not perfect. I want to hold it back here so y'all can see because the light so glares on it. But see, it's not all smooth like porcelain or anything. It's all bumpy and rough. And I got all the way up to this edge with my clay where my jar is going to come down to. So I just kind of pushed it up in there and smoothed it down. All right, so I got that. The colored clay. I haven't ever used the colored clay. This is like the only clay I've ever used. Is this clay from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby? And you know, I don't know about Joann's, <clears throat> but it is. This is fun. Okay, but the hardest part is waiting for it to dry. <laughs> yeah, it has to dry at least probably about twenty four hours. And I kind of cheated. I didn't wait twenty four hours, but um, they they were okay. <laughs> they turned out okay because I didn't seal them, so I think it was okay. That, you know, it still got to breathe. Because when I look in there now, they're dry. All right, so I got all that. And then my bond's not covered. That's completely up to you. I'm going to put a piece here, though. Because I need some on this corner piece. Um, but this is very forgiving. It's not hard. It's fun to get your hands dirty. Okay, <clears throat> so there's that. Where's my lid? Oh, I put my lid over here on him. Um, so we're going to do the same exact thing for the lid, okay? Thank you, Stephanie. All the paints are 30% off at Hobby Lobby. That's like when I like to go and get them. Because I usually have a list of paint that I need. So, no, I don't have a rolling pin. I did have one, and I don't know where in the world it went to. Um, but I just use an old jar as my rolling pin. <clears throat> Okay, so we just smooth that back out. This is just the leftover clay that I had from that from this piece. And then I'm just going to put it on top of this. This is pretty easy, too. You just kind of mold it around the edge. 
and then I just tear off what I need. And you kind of have to, since it's round, it's a little more, you have to kind of pinch it together sometimes to get it to form to that round surface. And then you just kind of, you just tear off extra. It's like playing with biscuit dough or something like that. Can you dry with a hairdryer? Um, I saw where somebody was answering that. I, I've, I have put my, I put my ceiling fan on and let it dry because I think if it dries too quickly, it will crack. So you have to be really careful because it has to dry all the way through, which like I said, I didn't do it. Hey, Sherry. Okay. So see, I just tore it off and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm getting my fingers kind of wet and then I'm just going to smooth it out like I like. Make sure you don't get on any on the inside of your rim of your lid because then the lid won't go on. This thing right here, this is just a cut mat from Ikea that I cut and I do my clay on it. Um, that's all it is. It's just like a, just a plastic mat from Ikea cutting mat. Blueberry muffins. I've never had their blueberry muffins. How do you keep from breaking off? It, uh, it, I break it with the slightest touch. Maybe Yvonne is too thin. Um, mine are totally fine. Like working with pie dough. Yes, Colleen, exactly. Or biscuit dough. Or I used to make biscuits with my grandmother when I was little. And I would make little animals and stuff with the dough. And then cook them. Okay. So I'm just trying to get all the little seams and cracks where you can't see them. But like I said, it's going to be a pumpkin. So it's not going to be that bad. Okay, so there's my lid. So it's all bumpy and lumpy, and that's okay. So see, this is what it's going to look like. So you can always take your lid and put it on. And if you want to bring your clay up some more, then you just can sit here and mash that clay up to where it's not going to be that much of a crack. Or like somebody said, you could tie the jute up, or you could tie, you know, around it, or you could tie a burlap or something around it, or even just paint where that crack is where the light won't come through. Okay, so there's my lid. All right, now we gotta make a stem. Then we're gonna character this little guy up. Oh, Debbie, you will love it. You will love it. If you never made the gnomes, you need to make the gnomes. They're lots of fun. Okay, so I'm just, let's see I have much I have left. So I'll just, what I have left, I'll just put it back in my Ziploc bag and save it for next time. Cut mat like you use for sewing. No, it's just Ikea in the kitchen department. It's just like a plastic, you know, and I do all kinds of stuff on it. I use it for my clay, though. All right, so I'm just going to roll this up, you know, in a ball. And then I'm going to form a stem of some sort. But, you know, the stem's got to have a... See my base of my stem? No, it's white. Y'all can't see real good. So you're going to form something that looks like a stem. So I'm going to do the base of it. And this is where somebody said it, you know, it was thin. Now this is, this is really thin here. And if I was to do it, it would break. But um, I'm going to glue it to the top of my jar so it's not really going to matter. Okay. So I'm just pinching it off where it's too thick. And I'm just kind of making like a little hat. Like here's the brim of the hat. And this is going to be my stem. And I'm just pinching some off the sides because I don't want my stem to be that fat. Yes, Dawn, I do. There's a video I did a few weeks ago um, on the candy corn gnome. I did it again because everybody wanted me to do it again. And then last May, I did the original video. And they're on YouTube as well. A, a gnome nearby that I could show. I do. They're all over the place. These are the ones that cracked and I fixed, but cute. Isn't it cute? And I painted the other one I did a few weeks ago, like candy corn. Look how cute. These are so stinking easy, y'all. I promise you can do it. But see, my clay cracked. I used um, that some clay from Walmart, and see, that was a big crack right there. And it cracked. And all of them cracked. So I had to save them for me and I had to make them all again. Okay, so here is my, it's like a little hat. This is my stem. So I'm going to take my little knife 
And I'm just going to um, make the little star-like things like that. Because you know how it looks like it's, I don't know, the root, the I don't know what you call that part of the pumpkin. But you know what I'm talking about, where it's, it's grown into the pumpkin, where the pumpkin grows from, the stem. So I'm just trying to take my knife and I just make these little wedge shapes and just... You know, they don't have to be perfect because y'all know what a pumpkin looks like. They don't, they're not perfect at all. So, okay. So, you don't have to have so many or whatever. So, then I just kind of go around and, oh, my water. I keep trying to stick my finger in all these jars and <laughs> I got too many jars. Um, okay. So, I'm just kind of smoothing them out with my fingers and the water. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to make the stem look like. Y'all really can't see it, but it looks twisted. Let me see if I can get it up here where y'all can see. But it looks like a rope's been twisted. Because that's what I did to it. I twisted it. <laughs> what did I use to fix the cracks? Well, I tried to use caulk and like the spackling from Dollar Tree and stuff. And as you can see, I, did, I mean, it didn't cover them all up. But, I mean, this one cracked really bad. Like, that one is entirely cracks. I was devastated. But, now they're my little imperfect little guys. And that's okay. Okay. So, now, and I'm going to show y'all down here because, well, let me put him up here so y'all can see. So, I kind of get him where I want him. And then, I'm literally just going to twist the top of it. You may have to kind of grab it down low and you're just going to kind of twist it and that whoop, until you twist the top of it off and twist it until it gets those little lines in it. Okay. Y'all, I know y'all can't see that, but it's got little grooves in it. And then I'm just going to cut the top off. Kind of looks like the pumpkin's been cut. Like, you know, somebody cut it off the vine and then you can turn it and twist it whichever way you want it to go and look. Okay. So there is my stem. That's the bottom. Okay. Now this part's important because you got to think about it. So if you were just going to make the stem and made it flat and then the top of your jar, like for instance, whoop, this one is not flat. So I had to take the stem and when it was wet and place it on top of my, my lid and kind of push all the little pieces down to where it fit real perfect, okay? Not that it was sticking out like this and it was supposed to be domed like that. Does that make sense? So they're kind of, you know, so it's flush onto the top. So whatever kind of top you have, like this one, it sit, it'll sit perfect on there. If I turn it a certain way, whichever way I did it, there we go, it's going to sit perfect on top. Because I molded it kind of to fit. Kind of like you do the gnome nose when we did the gnomes. So now, I'm going to figure out. Okay, that's going to be the front. So, I'm just going to kind of put my stem on top. It's all still wet. And then I'm just going to kind of press my little tentacles down. Or whatever they're called. Hey, Pam, from the other end of Mississippi. A twisted witch hat. Okay. All right, so I'm just kind of pressing it down where it kind of molds to the top. And then I'm going to take it off just gently. And then I'll set it over here and we're going to let it dry. Okay. And then I'm going to take the lid off. Well, I got to, we got to do the lid too. Um, anyhow, and you can make grooves and stuff in your stem if you want to, or you can leave it twisted. But since we're done with all this clay. Okay, so. Put your clay, the rest of your clay, in a Ziploc bag because it will dry out. And I just kind of fold it up a little bit and I seal it up like that. Okay, now, here comes the fun part. We're going to carve a pumpkin. So this is, is just as easy as carving a pumpkin. And you just kind of have to see what you want to be the front. And I've already looked. Um... You're okay, Teresa. You can always watch the replay. It's always here for y'all to watch. Whoop, and there went my stem because I hadn't glued him on. Okay, so this is the face I did on this one. Okay, 
And obviously you can do all these different faces. Um, just kind of Google pumpkin jack-o'-lantern faces, whatever, and just go crazy with it, okay? Now for this face, his, I did round eyes. So you can cheat a little bit because we got something that's round. Um, Sherry, because it needs to dry all the way through. It needs to dry on the bottom and, and this part of the lid needs to dry, all that. It all needs to dry separately. Okay, so I just took a top of a pen and it's got fuzz on it. I just took a top of a pen. Find you something that's the shape that you want it to be. Just kind of like a cookie cutter. And I just made that. And I went all the way to the glass, okay? Just like a cookie cutter. So there's his eyes. And you're going to take your blade. I told y'all it's like cutting, carving pumpkins. Look. I got lucky. It came out easy. Sometimes they don't. But if you push all the way to the glass, it will come out somewhat easy. But they're circles, so they're easy. Ta-da! There's his eyes. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Okay. So, let's see. What did I do with him? All right. So, he has a triangle nose. So, you're just going to take your blade, go all the way to the glass, and, you know, draw you a... A nose, a triangle, or whatever shape you want to do. So I'm just going to do a triangle like I did that one. All right, there's my triangle. Not perfect, but you know, when you have us in your car, pumpkins, it's not perfect. Yeah, I got lucky, Kaylee, those little circles came out. And this, this one came out okay. But if it doesn't come out okay, you know, cut it some more. Because you can always take your knife... And you can go back in here and like, I'll take my blade and I'll pat down the clay with the blade. Just pat, 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 you know, all that stuff and push it down. If it's stuck to the glass, just kind of push it down. But we're going to fix him too, because if you see, he has clay all over the glass. Can y'all see in his eyes and stuff? I'm going to show you how to fix that. And there's one thing I didn't bring over here, but it's okay. Red color sticks on your hands. Oh, goodness. The, the clay that's red. Okay, now this is the trickiest part there is, and that's the mouth. So if you get, you know, however you want to make his mouth, if you don't want to make teeth, like this one doesn't have teeth, make it easy. The first one you do and just kind of go from there. This one's got little fangs. Um, this one has just a circle mouth, and I did the circle the same way. Um, so however you want to do it. So, let's see. So, just like if you were carving a pumpkin, you start at the corner of his mouth. And then I'm just going to take my knife and I just kind of go up and down with it. And I may drag it a little bit until I get to where I want his teeth to be. Just like if you're carving a pumpkin, same way. You're going to make his little teeth. And let's make him have two teeth. Oh, you could just do a circle for his mouth. However you want to do it. Okay, so there's my top part. What am I using? It's just an X-Acto knife. Um, here's another one. And that one's just got a little handle on it. But this one's already covered in clay, so <laughs> I just did it. I just used it. And then for the bottom, I'm not going to put any teeth on the bottom. So I'm just going to finish out his mouth. Just like that. Cute. Okay. So then you're going to take your knife. And you're, hopefully it's going to come out one piece. But it's probably not. Especially if you cut teeth. So you kind of have to go back in here and work with it until it lets go. It's just like making something with dough or um, it's the consistency of dough. So you just have to work with it. Okay. Now see my teeth right here. You can tell it, it doesn't look clean. So I'm just going to take my blade. And I'll make sure his teeth are flat. And then I'm just going to kind of go in here and fix his little teeth and pat it down just like you would if it was dough. And kind of square them up. 
and get them all fixed. And just make sure it's still on the glass. And then I'm just kind of fixing some little, like the corner up in here, up there. It didn't want to come out as clean as I wanted it to. So just take that little blade and you just kind of go in there and dig it out a little bit and get that extra clay out of there. All right, so that's all there is to that part. I'm fixing his tooth. Now I'm playing a dentist. Sometimes I'm a hairdresser, sometimes I'm a dentist. So there's his teeth. Let's see, part up here I need to fix. Okay. But you, and you have a long time to play with this because it takes overnight to dry. Okay, so there, there's his face. All right, now this is the fun part. So we're gonna make all these little lines. Y'all see all those ridges? Easy peasy. If y'all have one of these from Dollar Tree, um, if you don't, you can use a butter knife, you can use the blade, whatever you wanna do. Um, a bamboo skewer will work, a toothpick will work, but you're basically just going to take something and do like that. That's it. And you're just gonna make lines all down his face just like that i'm trying to see if y'all can see just like a pumpkin would look so you're going to do that wherever you see fit space them out just they don't have to be perfect because y'all know what a pumpkin looks like they're not symmetrical lines he looks like mater <laughs> with his two front teeth so you just basically, you can use this end or you can use that end. Um, a plastic knife like from that you get from takeout, that would work. Butter knife. So there's all my lines. And you can make as little or as much as you want to. Like this one's got a bunch. Um, this one just has some here and there. This one has a bunch. But it also is dry brushed and you really can't tell. But, so you just do what you see fit to your pumpkin and give him some little personality. So there's all my lines. And like I said, you can make them deeper. You can make them shallow. However you want to dress him up. And you don't even have to do the lines, but I just think it kind of adds a little realness to it. Plus when you paint it, it's going to look super cool. Okay. So the whole time that you're doing this part, you've got to be careful, you know, just, you just kind of want to hold it gently. Like I can still, I can see where my fingers were right here and I'll just go in and smooth it out. But that's the beauty and it's not going to, it's not going to be perfect, but pumpkins aren't perfect. So, all right, so there's that. So now you're going to get your lid. You're going to do the same thing. I just go around and make little, little grooves. And if you don't like getting your hands dirty, this probably is not the craft for you because you will get dirty. But I love it. I don't know what's more fun, making them or painting them. Because then you get to pick what color and how to shade them and make them look real or just goofy. Um, okay, so I got it all the way around, my little lines. And then you just, like I said, you need to make sure that none of it's messing with the the mechanisms that's gonna put it on the jar. Air dry clay, it's DOS clay. From, I get it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels and it's white and it's air dry clay. Hey, Wendy, Olaf from Frozen. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just gonna kinda continue those lines onto the top and just, you know, find your line on the edge and then I'm just, it's easy. So there's that. I'm just going to go all the way around. And they don't have to be perfectly lined up if you don't want them to be. But remember, your stem's going to be in the middle. So it's not going to really matter if you go all the way to the center. You can come in here and just do some extra ones just to make it look realistic. You know, pumpkins have got that bruised side anyway. So <laughs> they always have that flat side. Okay, so there's that. So this is what it's gonna look like. Let me get the lid to go on. Okay, so there he is. He 
You can see that, all those lines, and see the stem. Let me get the stem back over here. He's gonna fit perfectly on there. And you can take your knife, you know, and make you some little lines on the stem if you want to, you know, make you some, whatever you wanna do to it. Now is the time to do it. But you've got 24 hours before it dries, okay? So there's that, and I'm gonna set him over here and he's going night night to dry <laughs> but if you want to cover the bottom you can you just need to make sure it's flat okay and it might not be a bad idea to do the bottom because the light won't come through if you put lights in it but i'm gonna paint mine probably um so this is what you're left with so i have a wet um a wet rag over here to get all this off Okay, because now we're going to paint this one. All right, so now i got all these little bits. Now, I should have done that before I, I uh, wash my hands. Where'd I get the tool? It came from Dollar Tree. Some little embossing tool or something, but you can use anything you have. Ah, knocking everything over. You can use the end of a little paintbrush. I'm trying to find one. Like these paintbrushes I have, they have this funny end. Anything, you can use a bamboo skewer, a toothpick. You just use what you have. Um, I just had that little tool, so that's what I did. Yes, Rex saying you bought extra clay because you knew you were gonna end up making a whole village. All right, I'm gonna set that on the floor. All right, so now we're gonna paint. This is so cool that I get to make one and then paint one. Because <laughs> normally it's not that way. Y'all are going to be dying to paint yours too. I may try this, but Lord, I may be throwing it. Gwen, no, you're not. I promise. I promise. It doesn't have to be, like, perfect because pumpkins aren't perfect. Okay, so I've got an orange one. I done knocked off his stem. That's what happened when I knocked all that down. Okay, I've got a black one. I've got a white one. Um... I did this like a terracotta orange color. I got the bright orange color that I just knocked his stem off. And then I got a black one. So, y'all know, I gotta do it. It's the copper. Y'all know I gotta do it. You can make, yes, Donna, you can make a leaf. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, Annette. You're so sweet. So, I'm going to, let me shake it up a little more. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, we're gonna try to paint him metallic and just see what he looks like. So here comes the fun part. So now I get to chat. Looks like the Pillsbury Dead Boy. <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna paint. Oh, y'all, it's gonna be pretty. It's so pretty. Hold on and I'll show y'all. He's gonna be my fave, I think. This copper from Michaels is fantastic. Okay. Y'all, look how pretty that copper is. Oh, clay is on sale this week. Look, Pat has done look. She has done went and did the research. Um, yeah, somebody said turquoise or navy. I thought about doing turquoise. But then I thought, oh, I got this metallic clay. So now I know y'all are wondering how I'm going to paint that inside his eyes. Um, with a tiny paintbrush. And it's not difficult, um, but I'm going to do that last. Or attempt to, because I have to paint all the way around. Let me get his face all painted. You have to get down in those little cracks that you made. Depending on how deep you made them. You're going to go grab some tomorrow. Yeah, Clay's on sale <laughs> at Hobby Lobby. And if you don't have a Hobby Lobby, I know Amazon has it. SpongeBob teeth. He does have SpongeBob teeth. I should have painted him yellow. SpongeBob SquarePants. Now that's all I'm gonna see is SpongeBob. I like SpongeBob. Some people don't. He's like positive in every situation. He's just like, it's a good day. I don't care what happens. <laughs> okay. I know this this metallic is is Craft Smarts paint from Michaels, and it's just copper. It is so stinking pretty. I used it on the acorns the other night. Mary, you can use plastic. Um, those little jars they have at Dollar Tree that are plastic, you could use those. 
Um, you could use the ornaments for Christmas ornaments. Of course, it wouldn't be flat on the bottom. But, you know, Dollar Tree has tons and tons of jars. Um, I like all their little jars they have. You could use those. So, let's see. Y'all, that is so stinking pretty. He is going to be gorgeous. And I was worried that he was going to take more than one coat, but I really don't think he is. Glow in the dark. Oh, my goodness. Mary. Mary. Ugh. Mary. Glow in the dark. They do have glow in the dark paint. I know. For sure they do. I don't have any. Can you believe it? But they do have it. Absolutely, that would be awesome if you put some in his eyes or painted the whole pumpkin with glow in the dark paint. Now I got to go to Hobby Lobby, Mary. <laughs> Get me some glow in the dark. Unless Walmart has it. They might have it. Yes, this copper, I'm telling y'all, it's beautiful. I have to go back to Michael's and get me some more because I'm going to end up using this whole jar before fall is over. Okay, so I'm just kind of holding the top and the bottom at the same time. And let's see if I can get him to... All those cracks. Then we'll paint the lid. Let's see if I can keep from getting my fingers in it. Then we got to paint inside of his eyes. And that's not hard. I just use a super little paintbrush and go inside there, the little lip. And if you get on the glass, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal because um, I take, when, it's, when the paint's dry, I take a Q-tip and I dip it in alcohol. And that's one thing I didn't bring over here that I needed. I take a Q-tip and I dip it in alcohol and then I just clean the glass with a Q-tip. Or you could do it with a tiny paintbrush. Um, and clean the glass. And that's how, okay, let me stop here and show y'all something real quick. And I should have showed y'all this first, but that's how you clean the glass. Okay. So when, when your pumpkin's totally dry and you're about to paint him, which I should have done this first, take your little knife again and you can go in here. And if you have any little areas where the clay is someplace that you don't want it to be and kind of clean up the inside of his eyes, this one's not too bad, but you can kind of scratch the blade on the glass. Now, if it was plastic, you probably had to be a little more careful, but I just kind of scratch around and that clay off the glass will turn loose. Like if it's a little piece that you don't want, just kind of clean up your little area, you know, where you want the light to come through. And this one's not, not too bad. But you can just kind of go in there and clean up around the edges. Every copper, every every crafters use this paint. I love it. Okay, so I just take my... See how little this is? It's very, very little. Um, and I just go in here. And I just... And if you get it on the glass, like I said, don't worry about it. Wait till it dries. And you can either scratch it off with your blade or you can get your Q-tip. This is acrylic paint, Jean. You can get your Q-tip and you can um, clean it off with a Q-tip or a toothpick or a little bitty paintbrush and some alcohol and it'll come right off. And I did not bring the alcohol over here. So I'm just, you have to go by in each, each side of his tooth, his teeth. And this is going to take forever. But it's just sitting here mindlessly painting his little teeth. And I'm only going to paint some of it because I know y'all are sitting here going, gosh, she's going to paint all of that? Yes, you could do other colors and have a whole, a whole pumpkin patch. And how cute would these be like on a little entryway table or something like that for your kids that come trick-or-treating or your grandkids be so cute hey jean okay so i'm i'm not gonna paint all of this because y'all get the gist of it but but see how i painted on the inside of his mouth and then you'll see little spots that you miss and you can go back and touch it up but see how i just went in there and painted the inside of his gums <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. The lip right here. 
and I can see there's a spot that I missed on the camera. So I'll just go in here and with my tiny, tiny paintbrush and paint that. So cute. See? But you do the eyes and the nose and do all of it, okay? So I'm gonna set him down and your thumb's gonna look like that. Um, and then I gotta go back to painting this. This is easy though. This goes quickly. Yeah, you gotta watch the replay. This is super, super cute. And I know the group is gonna be so full of pumpkins and I cannot wait to see all of your pumpkins. They're so stinking adorable. But what better way to recycle a glass jar, a jelly jar, or a spaghetti jar, pickle jar? Because I know if you're a crafter, you've got some jars. Hey, Linda, you've got some... Oh, there's a gnat. I had my door open today because it's so nice outside. Hey, Maddie. Maddie, we're making jars covered in clay to look like pumpkins. Um, welcome, welcome. Hey, Vicky. Yes, glow in the dark. Oh, Walmart does have glow in the dark spray paint. But I don't, you have to cover up his eyes or something. But I mean, it might not matter if you weren't going to put lights in it. And you don't have to put lights in these if you don't want to. I just thought it was super cute. Yeah, the fairy lights, I just get them from Dollar Tree. And now I need a whole bunch more because I made a whole bunch of pumpkins and they don't all have lights. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. You're so sweet. Y'all are so sweet to me. I promise y'all are. I have the best followers. Okay. So, same thing. You just paint the lid to match. And I'm hoping that this is all going to get dry. All right. Mm. Let's see a spot or two. Okay. Uh, right there. All right. And you have copper paint. Looks like a penny. Okay. Okay. So now, I'm going to try to get this to dry. Isn't it cute? That, that color, y'all. Michael's because it's going to sell out of this color, right? So cute. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to have to do a turquoise one and like a mustard yellow one. And see, there's my bottom. It's all not pretty, but you can paint it. Uh-oh, Jackie just used a grape juice bottle. She's saving it. Go dig it out of the trash. Oh, Joan, y'all had a lot of rain? It's been beautiful here. I, I get fall fever. Kind of like spring fever. But I just want to go sit out in the pretty sun and the nice weather. Oh, Jen, Jen said you could use battery-operated tea light candles. Yes. You sure could. This is metallic copper from Craft Smart from Michael's. And it is beautiful. You gotta paint the stem. Oh, the paint didn't work good, Linda? Oh no. I need to see the top with the stem. Okay. That. Um, Jeannie, it is a satin finish but it's so metallic you really can't tell if it's one or the other because of the metallic just kind of does it oh Peggy you're so sweet I told y'all this wouldn't want to be one you wanted to miss because I was so super excited about this I could not contain it yeah dig out of your spaghetti jar Vicky I got mine look at mine I'm gonna make a gigantic one but I'm gonna have to go get more clay Okay, I think it's dry. Let me dry my lid to some degree. Um, it's just off Amazon. It's a little eleven dollar um heat gun. I know that's gonna fall off there. Metallic copper at Walmart looks just like the Craft Smart paint. Good to know, Judy. Okay, Judy said that Walmart has metallic and it looks just like this. Yes, here's the acorn. This is the little one that I did. Yes. 
It would look cute hanging in your car. Cindy, I used, um, it's a block of, of clay, but it's called Doss, and they have it at Walmart. Where the Fimo clay is and the Sculpty clay, that's where it is. If you want to screenshot it, you're welcome to screenshot it. That way you'll have it. There's that. And then, let me see if I can get this off here. And then this is the paint. It's copper, Craftsmark copper at Michael's. But then Judy said that the, the Walmart, the metallic paint looks just like that. Okay, I know that's, that's not totally dry. I'm going to set him back on there. Okay. All right, so now i got to do the stem. And y'all, of course, y'all know I'm going to paint the stem brown with the metallic brown. I've had this forever. It's deco art, rich espresso, and it's metallic too. So I'm going to paint the stem brown with it. I used it the other night too on the acorns. So I'm just going to paint my little stem. But some of them I did green. I did brown. Um, I did green mixed with brown. So you could paint your stems however you want to paint them. I may have to, let's do this so y'all can still see. All right. See, after I get it painted, you're going to be able to see how twisty it looks. See how it twists when you turn, when you twist the clay? It just automatically makes that twisting kind of motion and it looks really pretty just like a real pumpkin you know how the vines are all curly and you could make some tendrils and put on here did i paint the inside of his eyes no tina i didn't i just leave them glass and then i put the lights in like this see It just makes you smile, doesn't it? Okay, good. Marcedia said that the... Whoop, I just dipped it in the copper. That the Walmart copper looks just like this. That's good to know because I just may go over there and get that because it's closer to me. But I got to go get some canvases for my paint class for Friday. So if y'all haven't gotten in the paint class, you still can. It's going to be Friday. The first part's Friday, and then the second part is Sunday because we're going to do the background first and let it dry good, and then we're going to do... Um, we're going to do the... Um, the other on Sunday. But look, here's, those, here's the pumpkins. This is, um, this is the copper that I'm using now, and this is that warm metal from Target, that's those pumpkins. This one was tough because I had to coat the pumpkins several times, but look at how pretty they are. But I'm gonna show you how to paint this in this class. So you can go to my shop and you can get the class and it tells you everything you need to do about getting in the little group and all that stuff. Crayola clay, clay. See, I haven't tried the Crayola clay. Yeah, this espresso is so pretty. And I don't even know if they've ha they still have it. I've had it forever, so I don't know. Nancy, I made the pumpkin stems with clay. See, it's clay. <laughs> but you can make stems for all your other pumpkins. If the stems wasn't big enough, you could make your own stems with the clay. So I, um, I love making stuff out of clay with this clay it's awesome because you can paint it any color you want to last year i made little candy corns um i made ghost and i missed a spot but i'm not gonna worry about it but um yeah so i made that with clay cool easy it's not hard i promise y'all can do this hit that one more time because i just stuck my finger in it now if you wanted to, you could go in here and take you some black or whatever color and make you some accent lines, but just for time's sake, I'm not going to do it. I may do it later. Um, so here's my lid, and yeah, I missed a spot where I was holding it, and I'll fix it. So now I'm going to go a little, one step further. Let me dry off my paintbrush and take this tiny paintbrush again. 
and I'm gonna get some of this metallic brown. And that's what I did on all of these. Like, the, see the stem? I knocked the stem off while I go. Um, this in these cracks is um, burnt umber. And I kind of mixed it with a little bit of water. And I just went in all the cracks with my paintbrush. Same with this one. Y'all can probably see it better on here. And then I just kind of wiped the whole thing with uh, this one's painted antique parchment. And then I just kind of wiped the burnt umber on there and then wiped it right back off. And that's how I got it to look that way. This one is same thing. It has burnt umber in the cracks to make the cracks look old and they kind of stand out. And then this one, I didn't do the cracks. All I did was dry brush the whole thing. I painted the stem white and then I dry brushed black on the stem. That's how I got him to look like that. Yeah, I know I had to do a black one. So I'll just kind of quickly go in here with my little paintbrush. And if you get if you get too much in the cracks, you know, just have you a little paper towel nearby and just wipe it off because that's what I just did. I kind of got too much, so I just kind of wipe it off. Just go in your little cracks with your paint and, you know, you don't have to do them all or you can do them all. I'm just, I'm going to just do probably the front and show y'all what it looks like just because we'll be here all night with me painting all 900 of these little cracks because it's a bunch. But just do what you want to. You can do as much or as less as you want to and it'll all be cute. And you don't have to do the cracks. The lines or the ribs or they're called something. But you can do whatever you want to do. And you go all the way around the top and do them. But I'm going to show y'all the front. And y'all may not be able to see it as good just because it's shiny. But it just gives it some more dimension and it makes the cracks, um, you know, it makes the cracks step out. I was stand out. I was looking um, to see what they were saying. But now, like I said, I didn't put it out here on my table and I totally forgot. But see how the glass still has like some of that residue from the clay? just from your fingers and the clay being stuck to the glass, get a Q-tip or a tiny paintbrush and put you some alcohol on it and wipe it in all that little glass area and clean the glass and it will be fine. That's what I did to these. So you don't see any on there. Um, you probably can't see this one as well because it's black. But that's how I did that. And then the stem, to put the stem on, I used super glue, and of course, I just knocked him over, and he popped right on off. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try this. So then I'm gonna put my stem back on. Let's make him, and you gotta kind of figure out where you set it to, to kind of form the bottom of the stem. And then um, I'm just going to put a little on here. And then just stick it down. How cute would the metallic brown be? Paint it brown and then just brush some of that copper over it. Oh, be so pretty. Now I want a whole metallic set, y'all. Right? Let me, let me fix this right here so it'll look great when y'all see the front. But I gotta fix his eyes and all that stuff. But y'all can learn from my mistakes. And what I will probably do to all of mine is I'll probably paint the bottom like this one, I'll paint it black because if you put lights in there, let me turn them on. These are just little orange ones from Dollar Tree and these little boogers are bright. I don't know if y'all have any of them, but let me see if I can't blind, not blind y'all, but see the bottom? Okay, so when I set it on the table, I can see around the edge, especially back here in the back, you can see where the orange light is shining on my table. So I'll probably paint the bottoms of them black or the other color that they are just to keep that light from coming through. Um, so, and also see how the, around the, let me show you the back so I won't blind y'all. But see how you can see some of this light coming through around the where the jar 
the clay stops and then there's the jar. You can go and paint that with paint too so it won't show or you could just tie a cute ribbon around it or some jute and cover that up if you wanted to. Um, where's this one? This one is the same way. See how it's got that light coming through and see the bottom? Now this one's not as bad, but that orange is so super bright, y'all. That's those LED ones in their light. Yeah, Siobhan, tea lights would work great. Uh-oh, Carla's gonna try turquoise metallic. I think I have some too I need to try, but now I gotta make more. My big my spaghetti jar is gonna look awesome. <laughs> I cannot wait. I gotta get more clay though because I don't think I have enough to cover that big jar. But this was a Cracker Barrel jar. He looks like he's got a naughty wart on top of him. Um, this was a salt and pepper shaker. And you can get salt and pepper shakers at Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. And even though they're square, they're okay. This one was square. This is a square jar. The one we just did is square. So, you know, you can do um, whatever you want to. Because it's going to round out the edges anyway. Glow sticks, Carol said, that's awesome. They have those at Dollar Tree too. But look how stinking cute this is. How cute. Um, but use what jars you have. Let me glue this little stem back on since I knocked it off. Okay. There we go. So this one is just some little jars I had that I probably got at a thrift store. And it's got like a, you know, a cork stopper in it thing. I can't even get this one out. But um, that's what that is. So just get creative with it and jelly jars, pickle jars. They have these jars. Of course, the top's not blue at Hobby Lobby. These are $1.99 and when the glass goes on sale, it'll be a dollar um, if it's 50% off. Depends on what they put it on sale. This was, I think, a pizza sauce jar. That's what I used my rolling pin. How cute would this be? Just make you a whole little, a whole little village of these guys. How stinking cute, y'all. I'm going to be making, I'll have like as many of these as I have gnomes. I'm going to have a whole, a whole pumpkin patch. But how stinking cute. Y'all, this has got to be my fave. It looks, I mean, doesn't that look like something that you would buy at the store? Metallic, yes, I want to see the metallic turquoise. And then brush copper over it. Oh, y'all, I'm going to be making a whole bunch more. <laughs> I can't help it. Yes, medicine bottles, wine bottles. Yeah, that'd be a lot of clay, but it would look cool. But just think of all the bottles that you throw away or jars that you throw away and how cool it would look. Um, remove this. It has nothing to do with the show. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but yes. So this would look so cute. But, y'all, oh, how cute. I cannot even take it. How stinking cute is that? And you can do your own faces however you want to do them. Um, copper one is my favorite. Yes, mine too. And now I want to do a teal one, a turquoise one, and brush the copper on top. So they are so cute. This one is um, terracotta. It's this color with some orange brushed on top. It's, this is called terracotta. We are family. <laughs> yes, you're going to have a huge set with all different faces. Um, yes, Joan, you got to make some. Aren't they cute? Noree's going to the craft store in the Dollar Tree. She won't be gone. She'll be gone all day. <laughs> yes, Betty, sage green and definitely like a mustard orange color. Yes. Um, but yeah, now I want to do one this color. How pretty would that be? I need a whole, I need a regular set and then I need a metallic set. What could we make for Christmas on the jars? Sherry, I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, I don't know, I'd have to think about it. I gotta finish his eyes and all that stuff. Oh my goodness, I love him, the copper. Tanya, it is. The clay is very forgiving, and it, like I said, it doesn't dry super fast, so you've got plenty of time to kind of make adjustments, like this one is over here drying, 
and he's not even anywhere close to drying. So if I wanted to change something up on him, I could. Um, but yes, Debbie, it just, you know, it forms to the, you just form it to the jar and it, it doesn't come off. It's just, you know, it's on there. So it's not going anywhere. Cracker barrel. <laughs> Syrup jars. Snowman. Yes, Stacia. We gotta make snowman with the clay. The whole snowman. I was thinking a tree on the cracker barrel. Yes, this would make a cute little tree. Wine bottle could be a snowman. <laughs> Mercedes is going to make a detour to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. I know that it, this one especially looks like something ceramic that you would buy at Home Goods or something. I love him. Rose Shimmer. Kathy, stop. I'm going to have to go get all the metallic paints um, and do it. <laughs> and make a whole, like a whole jewel tone set of like copper and gold and silver and bronze and the rose gold and all that. Yes, D can make the lid a top hat and y'all stop somebody's gonna make one and put it in the group I just know it yes I'm gonna have to do that I vote for snowman Kathy we're gonna do snowman then you just wait on it snow angel on the cracker barrel yeah this would be a little angel shape sure could and put some wings back here Y'all love these little bottles, I'm telling you. They just throw them in the garbage, and I hate they do that because, I mean, there's so many things you can do with this, especially if you do, like, Bible school at church or any kind of crafting at church and stuff. Man, you could do all kinds of stuff. The little sand art. You can do all kinds of stuff with these bottles, and they just go in the gar garbage. Can I show the clay package? Yes. If you want to screenshot it, go right ahead, but that's what it's called. And this is the white, and it does come in, like, a, other colors. Um, but I just always grab the white. But, like somebody said, the red clay gets off on your fingers. Mr. and Mrs. Santa, look at y'all. Y'all, the wheels are turning, and now you're thinking, I threw out a pickle jar today. I need to go get that out of the garbage. <laughs> somebody has already gotten up and gone to get that spaghetti jar out of the trash that they used today. <laughs> Because when we ate spaghetti, I was like, don't y'all throw that jar away. I'm going to wash it. <laughs> it's going to be a pumpkin. Oh, this would be a cool snowman, though, with a hat. Ooh. I got to work on that. But like I said, the worst part of this is waiting for the clay to dry. But it'll, be, it'll turn white when it's dry. And you'll know because you can't, like, make a mark on it. But you can also look in the jar and see if it's white. But like I said, I only let mine dry for a day and then I started painting mine. I couldn't wait anymore. I could not wait. Fairy houses, Renee. Yes, and put little lights in them. I was gonna look and see. Certainly it's dry by now. I did these like, yeah, it is. I did these like Sunday. I can't remember. I'm sure you could spray paint it, but then his eyes would get spray paint on them. Oh, put some eyelashes. I got a pickle jar out. Yes, Candace, go get your pickle jar. <laughs> but how stinking cute. Even if you didn't put lights, but these little lights from Dollar Tree, they'll knock your eyes out. I'm telling you. They are like fierce. Let me get the lid to go on. There we go. That, I mean, they will. They'll put your eyes out. It's bright. Stinking cute. Ask Cracker Barrel to save them all for me. Yeah, I can do that. And then just bring it home and, like, dump them in a sink of hot water because everybody's touched them all. <laughs> yeah. But that. I got to finish his eyes, and I'm going to do that. But look how stinking pretty it is. Look at that stem. Look how it's twisted. Isn't that cool? It's easy. You just take it, and you just twist that clay, and it, let it dry that way. But look how pretty. I mean, if you didn't even want the faces and you just wanted to make you some jars like this with no lights, just make a pumpkin. Isn't it pretty? With all the different shapes of jars. And if you got a Goodwill or a thrift store somewhere, they got jars. Uh, they got aisles of jars at mine. 
Oh, Judy is on it. She's making some pumpkins and then it's gotta dry. That's the worst part is waiting for it to dry. And eyebrows, Kathy said. <laughs> Y'all are like, woo, the wheels are turning. I love it though. I love it. I love it. I love it. A pimento jar. See, just recycle. You know, I mean, if y'all have done the gnomes, and if you haven't done the gnomes, then you need to go back and see that video on how to do these guys. Then you'll have a whole village of these, and you'll have a whole village of pumpkins, and you're going to love clay, and you're going to be like, what else can I make? What else can I make with clay? Um, <laughs> yeah, some old jellies going in the trash. <laughs> Becky's going to be cleaning out your fridge and throwing away. I think this has been in here for a while. We're going to throw it out and <laughs> looking for some jars. Um, but Kathy's got little snowmen. Y'all are so funny. I know I love the black one too. I just had to be different because you know we painted that pumpkin black that night and I y'all were worried about it and I dry brushed it white and y'all were like, oh I love it now. I had to do one. Colored lights. You could squish. I missed that one. Yeah, and they can you can turn them around and they can stay out till you put your Christmas tree up. Can you use a clay that you bake? Yes, I think you can. I mean, it's glass jars, so I don't see why you couldn't. Because I think it's like 200 degrees or something. It's real low. And when you bake that clay, I do have some of that clay. And that clay is colored, so you can use the colors for sure. Thanks, Dawn, for watching. The gnomes. Here's one of them. I have a whole family. Like, from this tall, I have bigger ones. I have some that are this small. They're addicting too, so I'm just gonna tell ya. I did a candy corn one. Uh, I painted them like candy corn. Maybe it's been about three, week, three or four weeks ago. If you'll go back to my videos and go back, you'll see them. And then last May is when I did him for the first time and showed y'all how to do them. So there's actually two videos on here that y'all could do. Um, yes, Becky, you know it's gonna be a new addiction. Exactly, this. Every jar you have is going to be covered with clay. Y'all, did y'all see the lights? Now they're flickering. The air compressor cuts on in my husband's shop. It's a big air compressor. It's taller than I am. And it, it comes on every once in a while, and it just came on and scares the Jesus out of me every single time. Yeah, Judy, about 24 hours to dry. Maybe a little more. Just depends on how thick you get the clay. Tina, about 24 hours. Like I said, these, they were right at 24. And they could have still dried some more. But like I said, when you're drying them, you're going to have to, like, if you've got your stem, I don't have a stem. That's Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So, you set it like this to dry. And then after, you know, the next morning, you're probably going to have to come and turn it. And you'll see that this is going to still be wet you'll see the difference in the color because it turns white when it's dry. Um, and then you'll have to turn it and let that dry a little while. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like I put the ceiling fan on and I let mine sit here and dry on the table. And when I came back like 12 hours later or the next morning or something, they were all dry up until about here. So then I just took them and I turned it upside down like this and I let the air get to them that way so they would dry. Um, salad dressing jars. Y'all are just on it. Um, Glenda, I'm glad I'm not the only one, but it makes me jump out of my skin every time. And then the lights kind of flicker while it does it. And it's just weird. Okay. So Kaylee just posted the, the gnome tutorial. So if y'all want to click that link and it'll take you to that video. Um, thank you, Kaylee. Or just turn them around. That's right. So you could just turn it around and do just like this. I ain't got his lid on all the way. Or maybe I do. You can, you know how you can set it on there different ways. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Okay. See, then you could just set them out like this and have all the different ones. And you would never know they had faces on them. If you want to do that. Cute. But this is just, I love this metallic. Rolanda, I didn't I didn't try tendrils because I was scared they would if I did them too thin they would break. But definitely try it. Um, that would be something cool to see if somebody does tendrils and you could just curl them up on the top. You wouldn't even have to make them stick off. Um, 
Hey, Leslie, is she's new? Welcome to the page. Welcome to my page. This is what I made tonight out of a jar. <laughs> Ta-da! How would you color inside if you only have clear mini lights? These are just clear. Let's see, where is he? Here he is. These are just the, these are just the clear lights. They're not even, um, let me get his top off. Ah! I just made his stem pop off. Y'all, my super glue didn't want, want to do the trick. Hold on. Okay, see, these are clear. Just the clear um, little Dollar Tree LED lights. So those are just clear. And then you can get the ones that are, um, that are that um, yellow kind of color, like the regular light bulb. I'm gonna have to put my stem back on. Okay, it goes like that. My super glue did want to do the job. So we're gonna try this. Hold on. Okay. All right. It's going to stay on there now. See, I did some of them green, and I put a little brown in there. Just kind of mixed it in there with it. And then this stem is brown, and I just did a little bit of white lines on it. This one's green with brown. And then, of course, this one's just white. And then I dry brushed it black to be opposite. And then this one's that metallic. So I gotta figure out what color I'm gonna paint this guy. But see, you can almost see in the camera, I know I can see it, but see like right here, how it's getting white. That's what it looks like when it dries. I know y'all can't see it there. You might can. Can't see it as well as I can see it. But you'll start seeing, it'll start turning white in places, but it's gotta dry all the way to the thickness of the clay too. So that's why it takes so long. But it's so super cute and it just stays like that. What Holly say? I missed it. I was talking and I missed it. Good question. What did Holly say? I'm about to go back and say what brand of paint? Nancy, it is Craft Smart, Michael's Craft Smart Copper. And I'm sure they have other colors. Look how pretty that is. Um, but somebody said that Walmart uh, metallic paint um, in the craft section, it looks just like this. So I'm gonna have to check that out too. Purple, you can paint them any color you wanted to. Yes, but I might have to get some metallic. If I may have some metallic purple. But now I gotta let him dry for two day, a day or so. Maybe he'll be dry tomorrow night and I'll paint him. Yay, Rolanda's gonna try it. Green with orange would be cute, yes. Oh, Jacqueline must be new. Welcome, Jacqueline. What did I use to make the lines in the clay? This little tool I got from Dollar Tree, I don't even know what you call it, but you could use the end of a paintbrush, um, like a bamboo skewer. You could use, you know, and just make your little lines. Anything that you have, a butter knife, a little plastic knife that comes in those utensils, you could use that, anything you have, but to cut the little eyes and stuff, I use an X-Acto knife. I gotta wash mine, it's all covered in, it's got clay all over it. <laughs> Barbara's making these tomorrow. Oh, Sandy just ordered her clay, you go girl. Pink one, yes, Margaret. <gasps> I got metallic pink too, guys. Y'all know I painted that pumpkin, where's that pumpkin? Oh Lord, I may have to paint one like this. <laughs> See, I still haven't painted the bottoms. <laughs> Y'all know I'm bad. Okay, Walmart has Metallic Copper's Folk Art brand. Thank you, thank you, Rhonda. So they say it looks just like this. The same, it looks just like this. So that I'm gonna have to get some of that and see. Wire tendrils. Yes, yes, Holly, you can. You could make wire tendrils and stick it in the clay while it dries. And if it doesn't, stay in there after the clay dries because the, the clay wants to kind of, uh, I wouldn't say shrink. Shrink's not a good word, but it kind of draws back a little bit because I have tried that with something else. You could always dip the end of the wire for the tendril in some glue and then stick it back in the hole and it should stay there. Where do you get the clay? Well, at a Walmart, at um, Hobby Lobby. 
where the uh, femo clay and the sculpty clay and all that is, um, that's where it is. It's like on a shelf down at the bottom. But um, somebody, did somebody say it was on sale this week? This tool, it came from Dollar Tree. It's got like a sharp pointy end on it, like a, almost like a weeding tool. And then it has that on the end. I don't know what they call it, but um, it just, I don't know. I just do my little lines with it like that. It kind of looks like a, you could use a, a plastic knife from like the, a restaurant or something. Okay, Dana, that's good to know. I haven't tried that glue, that adhesive stuff. I haven't tried that. I need to try it. Paint one silver like mercury glass. Oh, Sherry, y'all gonna have a whole village of pumpkins before it's over with. I'm gonna have a whole gnomes and I'm gonna have a whole bunch of pumpkins. I just don't know how it could get any prettier than that. I just really don't. But now the next one I do, I'll probably, when I paint this one, I may paint him this warm metal. I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to have make a whole bunch more though. I, I, I see that coming already. But I gotta get lights. I gotta get lights for all these little guys. Just enough to cover your jar. Yes. The tool has a handle. I don't know. Sculpting tool. Is that what do they call it? I don't know. I just got it because it looked like a, something you weed vinyl with or I'd need it for something one day. Yeah, it looks like a, a Play-Doh knife. Yes, if kids have Play-Doh, that'd be perfect. Oh, Judy, you're so sweet. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Deb, welcome to my page. Y'all had to hang out. Got to go to Dollar Tree tomorrow. Everybody's going to be out and about buying stuff. <laughs> Dollar Tree? Yeah, it comes in the craft aisle. It's, I don't know. I just got it one day because I thought I needed it. And I have used it for stuff. I think I have two, actually. Look, there's one that don't have anything on it. It's brand new. Well, it's got glue on it. <laughs> I used it for something, like poking a hole or something. I don't know. Um, you never know what you're going to need something for. And then you have it, I have these little bins over here on my cart and it's got, I have all my pens and tools and all kinds of stuff. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> you gotta make room. And if y'all do like craft shows and stuff, wouldn't you just walk up on a booth and see something like this and go, oh. <gasps> Those are so pretty. Yes. And I know a lot of y'all probably do that. I used to do that. Covered it with dragonfly glue. Now that sounds pretty. You had me a dragonfly glaze. That was, that sounds very pretty. All the newbies will love it here. Thank you, Sue. You're so sweet. Y'all are so sweet to me. I promise you are. Weeding. Okay, Dana uses hers for weeding vinyl. So yeah, I wasn't crazy. But I, I made his little eyes. Y'all didn't miss that part. With just a pen top, just like a cookie cutter. <laughs> made his little eyes. Yes, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. Y'all gotta get in that. That's for my little community of people. Um, so you can show off all your crafts. Need you to show me how to do a stem. My, if y'all missed this one from the other night, from last week, y'all need to go watch it. But this is not the one I made, but this was a baby one that I made. Um, y'all had to go watch that and how I made the little acorn out of a wood bead. Um, a wood, the stem. Now, Vicki, I made the stem earlier. Where's my stem that's drying? Where did, oh, here it is. I just kind of made a base, and then I took my little knife, and I cut and made, like, little star you know, things, and then I just twisted, I made the clay, you know, like a little stump, and then I just took it and twisted the clay, and that's what makes it look like that. How it looks all twisted up. But just practice. If you mess up making your stem and you're, you twist it and it don't look right, 
ball that stuff back up, make another one. That's what's the beauty of it is. It's not like it's instant. So like you did with Play-Doh when you were a kid, just ball it up, make it and do it again. It's gonna be fine. Just practice. I mean, the first one you do, of course, is probably gonna be a little like, uh, I don't know, but then you, you're gonna get better each time you do it. Like this was the last one I made. And of course I had to make this one, but um, trying to think which one I made first. Did I make? I don't even know which one I made first. I can't remember. Wasn't that one. Maybe it was him. I can't remember, but it's gonna get easier every time you do it. So your 10th one's gonna look way better than the first one. But I've already done some of the hard work for y'all and like telling you about the bottom, like I'm gonna paint the bottom, um, you know, getting your clay up to that line and that kind of stuff. Um, so y'all can learn from me what I did. And I'm sure when you do yours, you're gonna come up with some other little trick that's gonna help somebody else or, you know, get in the group and say, hey, this is what I learned. You know, we all learn from each other. I tell y'all all the time, everybody brings something to the table. So never think that your little point is not gonna be valid, because it is, because we all learn from each other. Hat on the acorn bead. I didn't make the hat. I don't even have any up here. Did I put some? It is. They were, um, their Dollar Tree, Walmart has them, Hobby Lobby has them, but it actually had a styrofoam acorn in it. And I cut them, I pulled them out and cut them out. And then I poked holes with a needle. I don't know if you can see that hole. With a needle and then I threaded them on to look like that. So it's actually a real acorn cap, but I bought them at Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby and just took the, the fake acorn out and then put it on a bead and use that paint. That pretty. Yay, Kathy. Yeah, Carol, any kind of jar. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt a big granddaddy um spaghetti jar. Salt yeah, this was a salt and pepper shaker. This this was this from Goodwill. Just the old run of the mill. And see those bumps? You can't tell it once you get it done. And Dollar Tree has salt and pepper shakers. They're square, but it still look good. This was square. But um, this was a Cracker Barrel syrup bottle. Cute. You just get all kinds of different shapes. And this one was this. I had to dig it out so y'all could see what I used on all of them. So you can use you know, any kind of jar. This was, this jar, of course, this top's been painted, but it's from Hobby Lobby. But look how stinking cute. This is a pizza sauce jar that I used to roll my clay. This would be cute too. Any kind of jar you have. Now I can't wait for this little sucker to dry. Thank you, Nancy. Yes, Margo, you're gonna have to watch the replay. Look how gorgeous this gem is. Isn't he pretty? He is beautiful. I do say so myself. Add some sparkle before you. The acorn, on the acorn is the tassel made from yarn. It's made from yarn. I took, um, this was, all of this was Dollar Tree yarn except for this one. I bought it at Goodwill for a dollar, but I just collect yarn from Dollar Tree because you never know when you're gonna use it. But if you go back and watch the video, I'll make a big puffy one. And it's actually in my house. Um, but this one, I just made this little one like you could hang in your car. So cute. But yes, it's all yarn. But the one, the other one I made was like a, I made a big, big tassel. It was beautiful. It's all the clay in the outside. Yes, it's all on the outside of the jar. The lid. Gotta quit touching him. <laughs> yes, work has to come first, darn it. I know. I have work to do too, y'all. I don't I promise I don't sit out here and craft all day, but um I wish I could. <laughs> I wouldn't have nowhere to put it all. 
Yay, Sue, good night. Yes, everybody's got to work. I'm fixing to hop off too because I got to go see what my family's doing. And I'm probably going to sit up and wrap wood. That's what I'm going to do. So I got new stuff coming. It's probably going to come maybe by the weekend if I get enough cut. So, yes, Luann, I know this copper. Oh, it's fab. Yes, they open, Tammy. Yes. Because, like, this one, it has lights in it. So, yes. Ta-da. You could put candy in them. Lights. Those, I'm telling y'all, those Dollar Tree lights will blind you for sure. Yes, they open. See, I've got to get little lights to go in here. Yes. Cute. Wouldn't that be cute to give, like, as a little happy in a little basket for somebody for Halloween or whatever. If you got a secret pal or that kind of stuff. Good night, Glenda. Good night, Brenda. Yes, Christina Copper. Oh, I'm just I'm in love with the copper. So pretty. Let me turn him around. Yes, just scared me. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to see all of y'all's. I can't. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to hop off. Thank y'all for hanging out. You know, I always have a good time hanging out with y'all. This is like my happy place, and I love it. I love teaching y'all how to do stuff, and then y'all help me and give me all these ideas, and we bounce it off each other, and I love it. Um, Leslie, I made the stems with clay. You can watch the replay. I just make a little, little thing of clay and form it like a stem and twist it. Um... Yeah, I didn't bring my alcohol, but you can clean the glass with like a Q-tip and some alcohol once you get done. And it'll get all that off the glass. Yes, they sell these little lights. Yes, yes. Halloween, they have orange ones. That's what those come from. And then the Christmas, they'll have all different colors. But yes, so they have lights. Yes, you could use wine bottle lights for the court lights. Yes. The co what color did I use? It is Michael's Craft Smart in the color copper. But they said that Walmart has Deco Art in copper, and it's it's the same color. They said. You too, Judy. Night, Kathy. Good night, Tracy. Night, Barb. All right, guys. I will see y'all Thursday. Thursday. See y'all then. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye.